Welcome back, everyone. On today's episode, I want to cover some predictions made by the American Christian mystic Edgar Cayce that are specific to the year of 2018. He's known as the Sleeping Prophet and made some significant predictions in the early 1900s with an astounding 85% accuracy. He described a new era of enlightenment and peace when divinity within humans would be manifested upon the earth. This brings to mind some important scripture. 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 51 through 53. But let me reveal to you a wonderful secret. We will not all die, but we will all be transformed. It will happen in a moment, in the blink of an eye, when the last trumpet is blown. For when the trumpet sounds, those who have died will be raised to live forever. And we who are living will also be transformed. For our dying bodies must be transformed into bodies that will never die. Our mortal bodies must be transformed into immortal bodies. But before this kingdom of God would rule the world, Casey foresaw world events that could only be described as apocalyptic. Wars, economic collapse, and political unrest. A period of purification involving natural disasters that would reach such a magnitude that it would dramatically alter the surface of the planet. Now, does any of this ring a bell? I don't know. Like what's happening in the world today? We're seeing headlines every day of earthquakes, volcanoes, Yellowstone ready to spew its load, the San Andreas Fault now locked and loaded, devastating floods, apocalyptic sinkholes, strange booming noises, pole shift alerts, fireballs and meteors on the increase, and more. Any one of these could cause an extinction-level event. Coincidence? I think not. His prophecies were intended to be used as warnings to the people. Casey believed that these horrible events could be averted if humanity changed its behavior. And this was the purpose for giving these prophecies, to warn the people to change so that the prophecies won't come into fruition. Instead, we are facing nothing but ignorance, haughtiness, and arrogance from stiff-necked world leaders. I happen to know firsthand that Lord Rael's diplomats were making progress within Egypt, but very powerful and influential religious leaders in Egypt caused the government to block formal diplomacy with us, out of fear of losing control over their followers. Now, these religious leaders will have to explain why the blood of their followers is upon their hands. Regrettably, you are now watching the Lord's wrath being poured out upon those who disobeyed him. 305 were just slaughtered in an attack on a Sufi mosque in Egypt's Sinai Peninsula. Did you not realize that you were under our Lord's protection, Egypt? To quote our great king, you have squandered your blessings. Do not find yourself among those lost souls. Instead, receive the abundance of his blessings. Pay your tithes and follow his commandments. The time to repent is right now. Give yourself to God, I'm Archbishop William Scoggins. And if you think you're above our Lord's holy orders, then think again. Myself and others here at ABN are exceptionally dedicated to giving everyone the whole truth. We have staff all over the world and many have already dedicated their lives to being a part of or helping this cause. We rely on the kindness and generosity of others so we can continually deliver the unadulterated truth. And your donations play a crucial role in helping our staff continue their mission. Please consider sending even a small donation to Armageddon Broadcast Network at gmail.com on PayPal. 
you will find the donation information below in the description field. Remember to love God and love each other. Thank you and God bless.